Chapter 9 The Last Wall Attacks The Orc Moon hung above Holy Terra, but he was no longer the master of the void. Seven battle barges, dozens of strike cruisers, and lesser ships of the Space Marines were joined by the fleet of Mechanicus, and they stood outside the range of the, we of the weapon's gravitational impulses, impulse range, whatever. Among this army stood the flagship of Langsung, the Autocephalus Eternal, who did not join the battle again. Kurland asked again to contact it, but the ship did not respond. The High Marshal promised Langsung will answer to him once this is done, but Isakar told him over Vox that, those, that there were more pressing matters and to ignore it for now. Kurland gave the signal to attack. Orc ships appeared out of the moon and attacked the Space Marines. The Marshal wanted to be in the middle of the battle, and Kurland would have preferred to be on Issachar's ship right now, but he had to make sure the Black Templars didn't go far alone. Kurland told them to stay back, let the orcs come at them. The moon unleashed a huge power whip and destroyed a vessel of the Isokarators. The chapter masters were surprised at such display. The orcs unleashed the weapon again, damaging the remembered Sin, the flagship of Issachar. They would live, but another hit on them would be devastating. The order to attack the moon's surface was given. The marshal took charge on the decision without consulting Kurland. All ships launched cyclonic torpedoes. Before they could hit their mark, the whip lashed again, destroying one of the Black Templar's battle barges. The marshal wanted to strike the orc moon again, but Kurland stopped him so they could launch a coordinated attack. Once they did that, they realized the whip was not destroyed, and this time it struck at the abhorrence. The vessel tilted, and the bond, thanks to the bondsman at the helm, but by the time they managed to put it back into shape, the whip charged again, and it was close this time towards them. But throwing nuclear bombs on the surface of the moon, appeared another ship from Terra. It was the Iron Knights who apologized for being late. They managed to destroy the whip. Malfon, the chapter master of the Iron Knights, obeyed the command of Kurland to help the Fist's exemplars and offer his condolences for his losses. 88% of the orcs defense systems on the planet were gone and their ships slid up the moon's surface. Orders to prepare for boarding were given. The marshal told Kurland to better remain on the ship, but Kurland will join and lead a party of his own. In that case, the marshal had a gift for him. The marshal took him to his room and presented his gift, a striking yellow Terminator armor, one of the first ever made during the end of the heresy. He said he doubted Corolla in the beginning, and he sti still did, but Slaughter proved he had the abilities, so the mo yeah, he had the leading abilities, so the marshal extended the Terminator armor as a gift of friendship. Kurlang appreciated the gift and said he doesn't know how to repay him back. The marshal told him he can be repaid by Kurland by avenging his brothers. 